Hey, good morning folks. My name is Adam with Farm Life Outfitters and I wanted to take you all along uh, on my latest project here on the homestead which is a greenhouse build. It's not quite finished. But uh, almost. Almost finished. So in the past few years I have um, I've built a greenhouse out of a cattle panel, a couple cattle panels with plastic, and it worked, but um, the plastic didn't last. Uh, it was just thrown together, and so it didn't work really well. I, uh, I was able to start plants in it and, it, and that was fine, but it only lasted a season. The plastic started ripping off. Um, I had to fix it all the time from the wind blowing. You know, blowing the plastic around and then last year I made a makeshift tiny greenhouse with some old storm windows that I had laying around and that sort of worked um, it didn't work as well as the previous year but this year I wanted something different I wanted to build something a little more substantial something that's going to last several years something that's going to look halfway decent so I started thinking um, about how I wanted it to look and, and what I wanted to build it out of and I had a good friend that had all these old windows that I went and picked up. And that's what I decided to use for the walls. So I'll go ahead and say that I'm not a carpenter. I wouldn't say I have the best carpenter skills. Um, I'm more of a uh, functional kind of guy. I mean, I, my job is to repair stuff for a living. I work for an appliance repair company, and so I am more mechanically minded. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not a cosmetic carpenter, that's for sure. But anyway, it feels pretty solid. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And the roof sheds water, I think. And we're going to grow some plants. So come along with me as we uh, build this thing. All right, so here I am drawing out my greenhouse build and am trying to determine the length of the lumber that I need. So I'm building this around our existing wood heater and I'm just drawing out what I want it to look like. Uh, this is the top view and I'll draw the side view in a minute so the one side will be seven feet tall and one side will be six feet tall so I want it to have a foot drop from the top to the bottom. So let's go outside and get started. So what you don't see here uh, is me digging all the holes, laying off all the holes. Um, I actually recorded all this and somehow lost the footage. But I basically took some string and um, lined it up with the heater, made everything square, and found where each corner should be by using string. And the way I found the height was uh, also with a string. I determined where I wanted it how high I wanted it at the heater and then I pulled a string across to the other corner and basically leveled the string and then went a foot down from that level mark.
So here I'm marking my cuts with the skill saw so that I can come back and cut them off with the chainsaw. It was a little challenging because this post I had to come up so I had to figure out how far I was going with a foot drop so it's four feet that was the length and so I believe I came up four inches from my level line and so here I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm making a mark with a skill saw so that I know where to cut with the chainsaw. Just wanted to stop for a minute and show you guys what I'm working with. I, uh, I'm determined to not buy any lumber for this project and just use the scraps that we have laying around. But in doing that, you deal with this kind of stuff. Look how crooked that is. Um, I think I can straighten it out and we'll use this right side for the top.
So I needed this 2x6 to be straight on the top side so that the roofing would be uh, flat. So I'm just going to saw this lengthways and make the top side straight. Um, I am losing a little bit of width in the middle of the board, but it's not going to it's not going to affect anything because uh, this is not going to hold that much weight. Right, now we have a side that's reasonably straight and we'll use that for the top. So I just needed Michelle's help to push this board tight. Um, I cut the board the right length. And so to keep the building square and to keep it the, the right width, I, want, I needed her help to push, push it tight before I nailed it. Most of it so far, haven't you? Some of you may be asking how I was able to hold up the other end. So I put a mark where I wanted the board to be and then I drove a nail in on the other side of the, the building to hold that up temporarily so that I could get one side nailed in and then go back to the opposite side and, and secure it.
tell you what, let me show you a little trick. Be a little easier now that you got it. Just let all this back up. I'll wind it back up to that point so you don't have to start over again. See how it's getting tangled up there? Yeah. It happens if you're not, if you don't keep it super tight. See how it's tight now? Now if you keep this tight while you're walking, the whole thing will stay tight. That make sense? See how it's tight? You were going this way, weren't you? Alright, go for it. got everything pretty much framed up I've got the the roof framed and so now it's time to fill the holes back in around the post and tamp all the dirt so I try to get all the dirt back in the hole so that requires quite a bit of tamping and it's it's harder than it looks it, it takes a while um, but it really makes a secure post and foundation if you can get all the dirt back in and tamp it really well so I, I didn't put any concrete this is uh, just put the post in the ground and, and tamp the original dirt back in. 